Hi, it's Ronick from Master Audio. I'm really happy this NAM 2016 to be here at the Teenage Engineering booth. I'm with uh, Linus. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Cool. Linus is uh, the man responsible, well, the man behind the new pocket operators. So last year we had the three pocket operators. This year we've got three more. And you're the man behind uh, actually creating them, programming them? That's right. And they have a retro feeling to them. So they're 8-bit machines. Uh, well, not actually, but the sounds are 8-bit. And uh, starting with Arcade here, you've got your 8-bit um, uh, your sounds, your kind of arcade noises and drums. And let's just create. It's a very simple uh, interface once you get to know it. So let's just create some. Uh, let's just create a simple beat here. And you can also switch chords. So right now it's on a loop of four chords. You can just switch to something else. All right. So let's create a little loop here of chords. And you can do uh, kind of this kind of glitchy effects uh, fill in. Um, So that's the arcade. That's, a, that's really, really cool. Uh, I love the graphic on it, by the way. If you can't see the graphic very well, it's a little like spaceship shooting like it would be in an old arcade game. Very cool. Did you have any input on that? Uh, I did, but I was not the graphical designer. But I did have some input on it. Cool. Yeah. So let's look at the office. So, right. So the office looks at the hardware side of things. So this is sampled. Uh, floppy drives, matrix printers, that kind of thing, and uh, also some glitches and uh, really noisy effects that you create beats using. So, it can sound something like this. Um, and you've got your yeah, here's the PC beeper, and um, yeah, all kinds of... Yeah, all kinds of floppy drive sounds and... Cool, cool, that's really nice. Yeah, and then finally we have the robot, which is also 8-bit uh, chiptune sounds, but for melodies and leads. And you can play live on it. So... Um, Switch to and you've got this uh, glide button for making glides. together so you can have your synchronization and, and play together. So in theory you could connect uh, all six together? That's right, yeah. That's cool. And so these really do seem to bring something quite different to the table, I think. Uh, you know, the original three were really good solid, kind of like universal uh, little mini synths you could wear, but, but these are now adding a kind of chip tune, 8-bit uh, kind of feel to them. That's right, and that's sort of what I'm bringing to this because that's my background. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about um, you know what inspired you or what what inspiration you took for like designing or programming the sounds? Uh, right. So I know quite a bit about how those old sound chips work. It's a bit of a hobby of mine to to work with old computers and and figure out how they work. Uh, so all the technology and maths is is kind of doing the same thing that the old sound chips are doing. Um, and then, yeah, I suppose I just like those sounds a lot and wanted I mean, to make something with them. Did you have any challenges uh, 
like bring your, your vision of the sounds to the pocket operators? Um, there are all kinds of technical things like aliasing, you have to remove that somehow and uh, uh, well, but it's, yeah, it, it kind of, uh, once they got the idea to combine the pocket operator idea with these sounds, it just sort of made sense immediately that we have to do this. Yeah. Okay, so the, uh, each one of these are retailing, I've been told, for about $59 each. Um, I think they're available now, is that right? Yes, from today. From today, so if they're anything like the original pocket, pocket operators in terms of popularity, they're going to go like hotcakes. So I think you better start ordering them if you want one now. Thank you very, very much, Linus. Thank you.